As you can probably see from the video title, Paris was a success. And this video will be showing you guys how we done it. It's competition day today and I'm just going out on a little walk. Loosen up the legs, I don't compete until later in the evening, so I gotta stay occupied somehow. <laughs> much during the competition days so all I could really share with you was that walk around that little park. Obviously my mind is on other things. I felt confident going into qualifications. I knew that my routines were consistent in training. I had a good podium training as you knew from the previous video and if you haven't checked out the previous video I highly recommend it especially if you're a fan of Paris. So I knew I was ready for this routine. I just needed to keep my head strong and I'd done exactly that. I breezed through qualifications, not my tidiest of routines, but it was still that solid, consistent gymnastics that I'm looking for. I scored into the 15s once again, which is a kind of statement for the rest of the world that I'm still up there with the best. Finals day was the next day, and that actually doesn't happen very often in gymnastics. Normally there's at least a couple of days between qualifications and finals, but it's nothing we weren't prepared for. You know, we do one routine at least each day in training, so we're well used to this. Eamon had also qualified to the floor finals, so we were both in this finals day together. Eamon was up first. I was in the training hall warming up my routine when Eamon was on floor. All I asked Luke was did Eamon go through his routine and Luke said yeah, it looked good. Then when I walked into the warm up hall to do my last warm up go I saw Eamon and said how did things go? He just went like this first. So I casually shook his hand said good job and I knew that I was up next. I wanted to make it double gold for Ireland. But my main goal was just going through that consistent clean routine just like I'd done in the qualifications. I felt calm, I felt ready and now it was time to show it off. sixth up and I didn't actually look at anybody else's scores before my routine so when I landed the dismount and celebrated that celebration was just for me just happy that I went through another consistent routine and the French crowd were behind me that French crowd is amazing the roars that they have in that arena is just unmatched to any other competition I've been to so far First ever for Ireland two gold medals at a World Cup. History made today. And the fact that this is the arena that the Olympic Games in Paris will be in made that moment even more special. I hope to hear those cheers in two years time. Luke was happy, I was happy and there's two gold medals for Ireland at a World Cup. Something that has never been done before. I'm so proud of Eamon. I'm so proud of our two coaches Connor and Luke and I'm proud of myself. We've put on so much hard work on the lead up to this competition, but we know that it's not finished yet. We have world championships at the end of October, and we're hoping to put in similar performances, if not better, at Liverpool. I also just want to thank people that record these routines and put them on YouTube because 
the footage from these competitions are, are really bad and really difficult to watch. My parents couldn't even watch the live stream back home. That qualification routine was recorded by Libby from Paris. Guys, I just want to say a huge thank you for all of the support. A huge thank you for all of the Patreon supporters as well. If you'd like to join the Patreon, the link is in the description. Check it out and see if it's for you. We have a day off today, which is nice. So I'm going to sit down, edit this video, and we're back in the gym tomorrow. So join me then for the build-up to World Championships. Peace.